Okay, it's Ben Housel here, and in this very quick tutorial, I just want to show how to remove kind of clicks and pops between your edits uh, in one quick move in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, with a lot of the tutorials I do, often uh, I'll get the kind of little clicks and pops as I've trimmed out the ums and ahs and maybes and uh, different things that I'm saying. A lot of the basic leads are being cut out and the okays. Um, and then you end up with like a little click or a pop between your tracks. And sometimes you just want a quick way of actually removing those. So there's two ways that I normally do this. One is to kind of grab all my clips here. And once we've grabbed them all, if we come up to the transitions, um, we can go to the default dissolves. And this kind of works because it's a video tutorial, so there's not kind of a lot of different movement between one clip and the next. So the dissolve will dissolve the video and also the audio. And if I double click now, it's basically going to add a dissolve onto all of my clips here. Now, if we just zoom in here, we'll see these dissolves that I've got um, will basically be 15 frames long. So you can see there's still a little bit of a transition there that we don't want. So what I'm going to do is come into the index and basically you can see we can see our cross dissolves um, in here. So if I search for cross dissolve here, it's going to find all those cross dissolves. So I can select all of those in one fell swoop and then come back to my timeline. And this is an important step. You need to come back here to be able to do this. I can then do control and D and type in one and it's going to make those transitions as short as it can. And so now between those, we just really have a transition that's not going to affect the video that I'm working with. Now, if you're looking to remove clicks and pops from a kind of longer spoken track um, where you're cutting the video as well, where the video isn't going to transition as easily as this, we'll just remove all these transitions that I added and I'll turn off the search here. So essentially what we're going to do here is instead of the dissolve, the kind of basic cross dissolve to remove the kind of audio pops, we're going to use this free sound only transition from Alex 4D. And so basically the process is the same. If we double click here, it's going to add with all those selected a transition for the default amount of time that we've set it to, which is 15 frames. And then I can come to my index. I can search for, for sound only we can see that these are all the transitions it's got the transition icon there and again i can select all of these and then come back to my timeline do control and tap d type in one and then change all those and actually i believe it will make these three frames long um, just because that's the kind of shortest it can make them around the edit point so you'll see with the sound only transition you're not going to affect any of that video so you're not going to get a kind of three frame long transition which really doesn't seem to matter too much for the video tutorials but it would matter if you're cutting between moving video um, or an interview or something like that so i hope that's helpful um, using the index super useful feature in final cut pro 10 either the default cross dissolve or the sound only dissolve from alex 4d and yeah, if you have any questions, then please leave them in the comments below. I find this super useful. And once I've kind of trimmed out all the rubbish from my edits, um, leave any questions below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.